Hi everyone and welcome again to my channel. Today we're going to go through our weekly lesson. Now you can get this lesson completely free from teacherjoseph.com. You'll see it in the main menu. It's called weekly lesson and it's updated every Sunday. And you can find the old weekly lessons on my blog. We're going to read through it and we're also going to talk a little bit about how this topic can motivate you. Now, just so you know, if you're very interested in accent reduction, please listen to my podcast. It's there on this channel also and you'll see it on YouTube. I'll be talking a lot more there about how to sound really well. And I'll also be reading this lesson on there as well as other news and bits of the day, okay? So let's begin uh, by going through this. Now just watch my mouth because my mouth will be coming down. In British culture, we never speak like this in the way that perhaps other cultures do. We always have a mouth coming down. As our queen used to say, stiff upper lip and pull the mouth down. Okay, that's why British people always look a little bit sad. Right, let's read the first paragraph. It says... The Universal Access Scheme, which granted free access to all government-sponsored museums, art galleries and some places of national interest in the UK, began in December 2001. This was known as a DCMS scheme, since the government department responsible for these places is currently called the Department for Culture Media and Sport, DCMS. Research claims that free entry to these places are key motivators for tourists visiting the UK. By removing entrance fees to these places, everyone, including tourists, has free access to a type of education which only the arts and a dialogue about living history can bring. So there we are. That's, uh, that's the first paragraph of today's weekly lesson. And remember, pull your mouth down. If you have problems with that in the morning time, do some stretching exercises. Now, if you open up the page uh, on my website for the weekly lesson, uh, there's a number of questions here just to get you thinking about motivation. I think the text today is relatively clear. We have a few idioms coming up later in the week. And of course, if you want to hear all of the text being read, you can do that. It's also on my podcast here on this channel on YouTube, which you can hear as well. Right, so um, do you think that free entry is a key motivator is our first question of the week. Well, for me personally, I think it does make us think we're getting a bargain. So we tend to run and try to uh, catch that bargain before it disappears. Um, so in that sense, yes. What, what do you think about that? Maybe in order to answer that question, we should uh, maybe just spend a moment asking what is a key motivator? Well, a motivator is something, of course, which motivates you, something which uh, is going to, you know, get that adrenaline pumping where you feel passionate about something. For those of you who listen to my podcast regularly, you know that I'm not a big fan of words like motivators. A key motivator is something which is absolutely essential. 
I'm sure you've heard your boss talking about key tasks or things which are key. And in this case, it refers to something which is really, really special, something of vital importance, a key motivator. So I suppose free entry to museums is a key motivator, um, especially for tourists, maybe. But does it get us interested, really, in the topic or whatever is free? I'm not so sure. All of our museums are free, but I don't rush there every week. The next question from our weekly lesson uh, for today, it says, in what way has language learning been a key motivator in your experience? Consider the roles of language schools, English school books, uh, your own confidence level and knowledge, as well as your self-growth. Well, um, I'm not really sure that a language school itself is a motivator. Books certainly don't motivate me. Um, if you're a self-starter, that just means someone who's really ambitious. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it does work that way, especially if you want your, yourself to grow, if we think about your self-growth. But to be honest with you, um, I think the problem that we have sometimes is we look to people and things to really get us going when perhaps what we should be doing is looking more at our own reasons and what pushes us you know some people come to english lessons and they just say okay i'm here teach me give me give me and they don't realize that they have to actually work and give it's, you know english is not a commodity that can be bought and sold i'm not selling it to you my job is to help you introspectively look inside so that you can see maybe why you're not growing so quickly and to help you fill those gaps about English as well, but more importantly, to help you remember them. Uh, and finally, the last question we have here says, how can we reframe our thinking to allow us to learn more? What kind of habits and moods would we need to have? As well as, again, what is your key motivator? So how could we reframe our thinking to allow us to learn more? Well, one way you can do that now is just by believing that you can. Many of you come to me in English lessons telling me, oh, I can't learn. The word goes in and then disappears. Well, either it's because the word is not relevant for you, or simply because um, maybe you're believing that you can't learn it. You're saying to yourself, well, this is of no use for me, so what, why should I keep it? These are things for you to consider today, and I really want you to uh, think about that. Another thing, just in closing, is today's affirmation, which I should have mentioned to you at the beginning. I'm doing little affirmations for every day. Today's affirmation is, I am understood. I want you to write that down, and I want you to carry that with you today, whatever you're doing. And if you have any doubts, I want you to bring that to your mind, because Sometimes when you're talking to English people, the problem is not that you're not understood. Sometimes the problem is the listener and you're not getting their full attention. That's something to focus on. So today's affirmation, I am understood. There we are. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Let's talk again soon. And until tomorrow, see you. Bye.